Today I'm going to show you how to make this miniature folded book with pockets and an integrated cover. If you've picked up a craft kit, you'll find a piece of paper like this. This paper has been cut to 7 by 17 inches. One side has been folded in 1 and a quarter inch, and the other side has been folded in 3 quarters of an inch, and then it's been folded in half. So the next step is to make an eight section accordion with this piece of paper. We start with the paper mountain side up, take that fold, bring it to the edge, and then flatten the middle to make a nice fold. Then bring the other side all the way over to make sure it's as even as possible. Fold it down and fold. Next we're going to fan out the paper so that it's mountain side down in the middle and keep doing the same type of fold. Bring that over to the edge. Sometimes it's tricky to get it even. Press the center fold you're going to have to inverse in order to bring it over to the edge. Press just keep going until you get to the very end. Even. And press. And now you have an eight section accordion fold. Now you're going to fan out your eight section accordion with the longer extension on your left side sticking up and the shorter extension on the right side. Then you're going to bring the first fold over that extension, take the corner and fold it in to the edge just to make a triangle and press that down. Then you're going to flip it over to do the exact same thing on the top. Just bring it right to the edge press that down so it looks like this and then you you'll do the exact same thing on the other side make sure you get a good crease flip it over and press and then before you continue, just make sure you bring it back around so that the longer extension is on your left. The next step is to inverse reverse fold the triangle folds that we just made. So you just have to kind of undo the fold, push it in, and press down and then flip it over to do the same thing on the other side. So just open it up, press it in, and fold down. Again, flip it around, always making sure that the longer extension is on the left side. The next step is to fold the bottom edge upward, just like that, establishing the fold along the base of the triangle. So just press that down to establish a fold. And then flip that over to repeat with the top edge. Just fold it over and press. And this edge is gonna be tucked underneath the bottom edge. Again, flip it around so that the longer extension is to your left. Next, you just wanna flip the paper over so it looks like this and you're going to take each edge with the extension fold it in and make a light crease 
repeat this on all four corners, trying to make sure things are lined up pretty close. This just makes the next step a little bit easier. Once that is done, you are going to fold up that extension, lift it up so it's creating sort of a little box. Once you've achieved this box shape, you're going to inverse the two corners, lay down and press so that everything lies flat, just like this. And you're going to repeat that on the other side. So lift up the smaller extension, bring everything up, inverse those two folds on the edge, fold down and press so that everything lies flat. And then at this point, it should look just like this. Next, we're going to create a spine fold for the book. So with the larger extension, which is on your left side, we're going to fold each corner in to make triangles again. And we're going to fold them in about a quarter of an inch, which you can measure if you want or just eyeball it. About a quarter of an inch. You can just use your pointer finger on your left hand to mark about a quarter of an inch and make sure this is parallel to the adjacent fold and then you're just going to press flip it around do the exact same thing on the other side and press that in the next step after you've made these two triangle folds is to Fold that flap over against the edge of the triangle and just press that down a little bit. This is going to make it a lot easier to fold the spine at the very end. Next, we're going to take these folds and again inside reverse them. So just open it up, press that in, and fold down. Now we're ready to fold the other side where we have the shorter extension. So flip it around and we're gonna make just little triangles. You don't need to measure this side, but just fold little triangles inward. And then we're also gonna reverse those. So just open it up, press it in, press down just like that. And then flip it back around. Now we're going to take the side of the paper with the shorter extension and we're going to tuck this in to the pocket. This part is a little bit tricky, so take your time and just sort of get it in the pocket like that and then press down. To help the book stick together, you can put a little bit of glue or tape inside if you want, but if you've picked up a kit, you'll also find a strip of paper inside that's been cut to approximately seven and a half inches, and you can stick that in the front pocket and fold it over, making folds around the entire book. it in the back and I have a cute little slip cover for the book and you can put anything you want in the pockets little bookmarks or notes you can write on the front put a sticker on it and make it your own I hope you had fun learning how to make this miniature folded book with pockets. If you picked up a kit, 
check out this list I made of other awesome books that you can take from the library on the art of making books and bookbinding techniques. This particular folded book I learned from The Art of the Fold, which is another book that you can check out from the East Greenwich Library. Thanks for watching.